The child looked pale, lifeless, and had a fixed gaze with eyelids slightly open. This is the account of a Scottsdale police officer who was one of the first to arrive at the extended stay, where they found 11-year-old Chaska Davis-Smith with no pulse in the bathroom. The officer noted the child had what appeared to be fresh wounds all over his body, most notably on his head, where his hair was missing, exposing a deep injury. Police arrested Chaska's grandmother, Stephanie Davis, facing charges for child abuse and Chaska's death. Davis was the one who called 911, police releasing the transcript this week more than two years later. In it, she calls for an ambulance, saying her grandson was not breathing and was in the bathtub. She also kept bringing up claims that the 11-year-old was harming himself, a story she continues when police arrive. She later says she is attempting CPR before first responders get to the scene. Davis's husband, Thomas Descharnas, is also facing charges in Chaska's death. Both Davis and Descharnas told police the child was hitting himself, but one officer says he had a hard time believing Thomas's accounts. A paramedic on scene said he didn't believe Chaska's injuries could be self-inflicted because of the force. Eventually, Descharnas cracks, walking back his previous statements and told police Davis was abusing her grandchildren, saying she hit both with a ratchet and that they were not fed much food and that she slashed and stabbed the grandchildren with a knife. Police sifted through evidence and found a shock collar in the room. However, police added there were no signs of any dogs living with them. One officer notes Davis was surprisingly calm when she was arrested. Now, the county attorney has stated that they would be pursuing the death penalty for both Davis and Sharnas. Now, the trial isn't expected until late next year.